at least let next month we'll have good some actual decent films or even good films to talk about. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sam Novo 198 again, and today I'm doing another film review, and this time it's for Sony's latest attempt to sort of be a cinematic universe, even though the whole superhero genre in cinematic universe is basically dying at this point. I mean, if you look at the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the quality of those films have nosedived significantly in the last couple of years. But today I'm here to talk about Sony's latest fucking atrocity and pile of shit with Madam Web. You know, I didn't expect this to be worse than Morbius. I was like, man, maybe it'll be like... It, it's just... I, I, they, they somehow did it. Sony somehow did it. They made a movie worse than Morbius. Now, Morbius was horrendously bad, but at least it was funny. Like, you can laugh at how incompetent it was. And also, the memes were funny as shit, too. This movie... You could probably find some enjoyment out of that. But for me as a person who just wants to watch a good movie and who's literally sat through three fucking huge fl huge stinkers so far with Argyle, Night Swim, and then this. What the, the, what the, If this is a sign out bad 2023 for is going to be for movies, just... I'm out. I'm out. I'm fucking done. Okay, sorry about that. I just... Okay, sorry about that. I didn't mean to lose my shit there of, or over this, but I haven't even talked about the story yet. I'm getting pissed. But anyways, is the story for Madam Webb follows the story of Cassandra Webb, played by Dakota Johnson, and she's a paramedic until medic, and she sort of has a, pish, has a really uh, interesting past. Basically, her mother was in the Amazon rainforest. They say it in the trailer, but they never say it in the movie. Her mother was in the Amazon rainforest where one day she's examining spiders until she is killed. Old, and then a ancient civilization in the rain, the Amazons, find her, and then she gives birth to Cassandra. Her Cassandra's mom dies in childbirth, but they, but this, I guess, ancient spider tribe, they find her and bring her in to help, and basically she gives birth to Cassandra. So now, she, oh, years later, the film takes place in 2003. She's 30 years old, and she's a paramedic working in New York City, where she works with Ben Parker, you know, Uncle Ben from Spider-Man, because it is a Spider-Man movie. We have some connection. She, and then one day, when something goes wrong, she she almost dies, and now she becomes a clairvoyant, where she can see things right as they're about to happen. And soon, she comes in contact with these three high school girls, and there, these high school girls are being hunted down by a man named Ezekiel Sims, who, in a vision, a dream he has where he sees these three girls are going to kill him. Which, by the way, these three girls turn out to be Spider Woman, but they don't. You never see that in the movie, and the only times you ever see them as Spider Woman are in dream sequences and like, as in a dream sequence, really. Like the, you're not seen in the trailer where you see them like. They got, like, the different powers and stuff. That's a dream sequence, so it never really happens in the movie. And you sort of see it at the end. But that's basically the plot. And then Ezekiel Sims is the bad guy. And I don't know who he is in the comics, but, yeah, that's the story. And let's just talk about that real quick, because I have a lot of story pretty much for Madam Web. And to say it's nonsensical and really does feel like a... a sort of dollar store bin bargain bin walmart version of the terminator that's pretty much exactly what this is it's terminator without the likable ability or just the entertainment value of that movie it's it's just not it's boring as shit and it doesn't help that none of the, that like almost every character in the movie is an idiot like there's a whole scene where cassandra webb has to go to like who has who's been, and the whole point of the movie is Cassandra Webb has to protect these three girls because the main villain Ezekiel Sims has to protect these has to kill these wants to kill these three girls because they he sees a vision he's like oh these girls are gonna kill me in the future when I don't know which by the way if you're expecting like I said before if you're expecting the girls to like 
go full spider woman that happens in a dream sequence and never again and it's just i seriously could not believe how, how bad the story was and to give you an idea of how sh fucking stupid this movie is like i'm not even kidding the films like has like the weirdest product placement ever almost every scene there's either a there like and there's like several scenes where we're just nothing but product placement and spoiler for the end of the movie the main villain is killed in one of the most dumbfounding ways i've ever seen like in the movie you see like an s like when cassandra has her first like moment when she dies you see like an s logo and you're not sure what that's supposed to mean you're like is that supposed to be like the spider-man s it's a pepsi logo i know it's a spoiler but it's a weak out if you wanted to see it be be my guess but I just, I was just dumbfounded how bad the story was, because the villain is one of the most embarrassing villains I've ever seen, he's not threatening, it's like, he gets hit, like, there's a whole scene where Cassandra Webb, like, there's a whole scene in a diner where this, these girl, the girl she's protecting, you know, like, Sydney Sweeney's character and the other two, I, I gotta look it up, their names, because I couldn't remember them, but, it just, I was like, and there's a whole scene where he's about to kill them, and then she, like, fucking crashed through the diner, hits him with the car. I'm just like, what the fuck? You could have just killed the three other people. I was like, what? You're serious right now. Oh, my God. This movie. Oh, uh, the story, like like I said, it's just nonsensical. It's completely ridiculous. There's so many plot holes. There's just so many stupid moments. Like, in the movie, like, you remember how in Terminator, like, the Kyle Reese told, like, Sarah Connor, like, you gotta lay low, you gotta, because you could be anybody, it's like, it's like, that's how it should have been, but these characters are so stupid, that they're just, like, dancing up on, like, a table, having a good time, it was just, oh my god, it was the stupidest shit I've seen in a very long time, but now let's move on to the acting, okay, now the acting, in terms of, like, acting-wise, I actually heard somewhere that apparently Dakota Johnson apparently fired her agent after this movie came out, and after watching it, I can absolutely see why the acting in this movie is awful. And I don't blame any of the actors or actresses in this movie, because Dakota Johnson, she's proven herself to be a good actor after those awful Fifty Shades of Grey movies. It's kind of like the, what Kristen Stewart did after the dog shit twilight movies so i really do think hollywood these actresses have talent now sydney sweeney who like i thought like she was like fine in the movie i don't really know who sydney sweeney is i know she's in euphoria but i haven't watched euphoria but it's odd because when you see these actresses and you're just thinking to yourself like every, you guys are better than this even adam scott like adam scott what the hell are you doing here man like it's it's downright like insane how bad like the dialogue is how like this like the acting feels like every like dakota johnson feels like she just does not want to be here and i don't blame her with how bad this script is i wouldn't want to read this shit either and it just it's a real sign that it's just baffling and by and there's like some also other stuff that i'm gonna bring up too but i think every actress in this movie deserves an apology like for having to go through this crap because it is it's truly an awful movie it's embarrassingly the acting in this movie all across the board is awful even the main villain who i haven't seen in anything is a joke of a villain he's not scary or intimidating it's just like like i don't get what like i don't get what it's with like suit villains being so shitty lately and i've i've heard like the best villain right now in film is Austin Butler's character in Dune Part 2, which I'm super hyped to see, but that was, I'll talk about that some other time because I haven't seen it yet. But, oh, man. Acting all across the board was terrible. Anything positive, though, about this movie? Well, I don't really want to call this a compliment. The visual effects and action. The action scenes suck, too. The action is piss poor. It's way too close. It's really shaky. And the visual effects while are awful aren't the worst i've ever seen which i guess that's a compliment but that's not really like a nice it's not really like saying much i mean Ant man of the wasp quantumania looks horrible like that movie looks disgusting how bad it looks this film 
it looked awful visually and aesthetically. Ically, which, you know, that's, that's, it, I get aesthetically and, like, both visually. But it didn't look the worst I've ever seen. So, I guess there's that. And I guess now I'll get to the final verdict instead of making this whole... Over. The final verdict for this film is... If you want to go back in time to when superhero movies were, like, in that 2003 era where there weren't many good ones, I guess this is worth checking out for you, but it either way, this is, like, the best way to describe it is it's not like that 2003, like, superhero movies, like the first Spider-Man, X-Men 2 United, X2 United, or, like, Spider-Man 2 of that era. This is like bar. This is like Daredevil Electra level bad, where you could tell no one gave a shit about what they were doing, and there was nothing really there to really make anything like worth it. Like honestly, Sony stop making Spider-Man movies without Spider-Man. Like the reason, like people know people watch Spider-Man because they know who Spider-Man is. They'll watch say. I don't know. They'll watch like, like with with Sony and their movies right now. Sony needs to stop making these movies without Spider Man because it's a weird universe. Because the Venom movies, like you can make a Venom movie work, standalone Venom movie, as long as you have a good script and you're not willing to do dumb shit. And I actually have fun watching the first Venom. It's not a good movie. I wouldn't say the first Venom was good. Hell, even Let There Be Carnage, I wouldn't say is a good movie. V because for one they. They wimped out and went for a PG-13 rating for... That still doesn't make sense to me. And you got a Morbius movie, which... I still struggle to understand why you made a Morbius movie. It's like you're making all these superhero movies where, yes, comic book fans know what they are, who these characters are. They know who Madam Web is, Morbius. Hell, even Craven the Hunter. People know who Craven the Hunter is. Not just because of the video games with Spider-Man 2, but because his... But because, like, they love these characters in the comics. Comic book fans, this is supposed to be meant for comic book fans. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. So basically, you made a movie that is for nobody. And the problem is with this whole cinematic universe is, is that since you're trying to make a Sinister Six, you're making, like, a whole Sinister Six when there's no Spider-Man fight. Like, just, just fuck off, Sony. Stop trying to make all the, like... I'm looking forward to Craven the Hunter because it looks terrible. Like, it could be a good guilty pleasure time, and it could be entertaining. Unlike Morbius and and Madam Web. I'm not going to say Craven the Hunter looks good, because it doesn't to me, at least. I know it probably looks good to some people, but who knows. But yeah, that's my review for Madam Web. And here's a fun fact. I actually, when the movie ended, like, I didn't even stay for the end credits. So if there's an end credit scene... I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm not staying for end credit scenes like that for movies that are shitty anymore. I did it for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I did it for the... Well, I didn't think the Marvels was awful. I thought it was more just forget... That was forgettable, but... I actually went behind me, and there... Like, I, I looked behind me when I got up out of my seat from when I was done, when the movie was over. I looked at these two women behind me. I was like, did you guys like the movie? And they were like... So, yeah, that should tell you everything you need to know. The final verdict, do not watch Madam Web. It's awful. And as far as I know of, this has already been probably the biggest flop of 2018. So far. not 2018. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my fucking mind right now, people. Of 2024. And I don't know if it flopped harder than... I don't know if it flopped harder than, uh, what is it? Um, Argyle, but probably did. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. This is Sam Nova 198 signing out. Have a good one.